completely forgot that was there. So I'll give him the fake ID. Here. What's that? Fake federal investigator ID. Could be of some use at one of those roadblocks. Ever hear of this place, Uncle Pete's Mink Ranch? I remember there used to be some sort of weasel plantation or, or something up the road. Down Highway 9 on the other side of them damn roadblocks. I used to pick up mink with them real cheap and sell it to school lunch programs. <laughs> that was a good scam. So how about a ride? What if they search the back and find my bike? It's buried in a pile of concentrated fertilizer powder. <laughs> Trust me, no one's gonna dig through that crap. Now you're gonna ride in the engine compartment. The engine compartment? Hey, I smuggle stuff in there all the time, and most of it's worth more than you. So <laughs> stuff your carcass in there quick, and we might hit that mink dump by morning. Hope you're better with a stick shift than you are with a knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh great. Smells like he's got a fuel leak. I love engine fires. <laughs> Sorry, sir. I like lead vehicles beyond this point. I'm just a Huh? What's this about? Undercover agricultural steam operation. Watch the back. Fertilizer. All right, move along. Hope you really get your man. Hmm, we stopped moving. with your truck? <laughs> Loose hose and nothing big. I, I already pulled your bike out. It's sitting right over there. Well, nice knowing you. Gotta hit the road, you know. Uh-oh. He did have a fuel leak, and he took my fuel line to fix it. That trucker's gonna die for what he did. Hmm. Lots of bikes. <coughs> Tough looking padlock. I couldn't break that lock. I don't have anything. Oh, I don't have my lock pick anymore. Couldn't break that lock. Hmm. Oh. Alright. Ah, uh, junk. And a hose I can use on my bike. I don't think Mo would mind if I borrow him. How that truck not crush me? That does it. It's dead. That sign. That moon sign. Cavefish territory.
Great, you blow up the bridge. <laughs> first. That means all we have to do is sit here and wait. <clears throat> Looks like Emmett dropped a load here. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Well, that's all of them. Can't be much holding that up now. Oops. my mouse pointer. Where is he? Huh. What a mess. <laughs> there you go. Just take a little. Alright. I remember this bit. Yep. to make pump. Yep. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> This one she worked on with her father. It's an emotional thing. Don't try to understand. Now hurry. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Puyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch, who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer-class solid fuel recoil booster and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. Hmm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. You're right, <laughs> though. I'll need that ramp. Right. Uh, right. I gotta get. Uh, I can't remember actually. Do I need? Can I get the car first before I go down the roads? I think I just click. Uh. 
Oh, yeah. I don't touch anything without wheels. <laughs> there's one thing I've never needed. I'll just... Yeah. Alright, hover boost that got. Right. Alright, this is the boring bit. Well, not boring, it can't be a bit frustrating. since you retired from the Polecats. Hey, Ben. How's my gang doing? Uh, that's a long story. What are you doing out here? Well, retirement's pretty boring, Ben. So I thought I'd come out to the old mine road and look for trouble. You're picking fights? <laughs> that's what the old mine road's for, son. Father Tork, I need your help. The gang's in jail and the law. Ben, I'm not the leader of the Polecats anymore. You are. Can't you see I'm on permanent vacation? <clears throat> Any fighting tips, Torque? Ah, Ben, who's tougher than you? Uh... Nobody, but those rod wheelers are uglier. They're none too bright either. I'm sure you can handle them. The vultures are quick, and they're nuts. The ones with those boosters are hard to whip. Just remember, Ben, it's not about muscle, it's about timing. Uh, da, 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 da. What's up with those cavefish, man? Watch out, Ben. They're not out here for sport. They hijack big rigs. It's part of their religion. Don't get in their way. They're blind, cold-hearted killers. How do the cavefish ride if they're blind? Well, they're only blind because they wear those special goggles to shield their sensitive cave-dwelling eyes. Special sensors in the goggles pick up the dots in the road and other large objects and landmarks to help them navigate. <laughs> kind of trippy, huh? You know any way around Cuyahoga Gorge? Around it? It's miles and miles long, Ben. What's the matter? Don't like bridges? <laughs> blew up. Ooh, sorry I missed that. Well, you could jump it, like Ricky Myron. Cavefish got his ramp in their hideout, you know. Where is the cavefish hideout exactly? Somewhere on this road. The entrance is totally invisible, unless you've got those weird cavefish specks. Can't talk anymore, Ben. Eating too many bugs. Well, <laughs> take it easy, Father. Give him hell, Polecat. 